Welcome to the program. I'm Mark Imperial. This segment's being brought to you by booksgrowbusiness.com. It's the place where busy professionals get their books done to educate consumers, grow their businesses, and to leave a legacy. I'm doing a series of spotlights on remarkable business intermediaries from across the country. And joining me on this segment is Rubiel Khan. He's the founder and CEO of Investive. Rubiel, welcome to the program. Thank you, Mark. It's a pleasure having you here. Rubiel, tell us a little bit about your work and specifically, who are the types of clients that you specialize in working with and helping? Mark, I am a founding uh, partner in a company called Investive. What we do is we help business owners sell their business. Uh, we specialize in selling businesses anywhere between a million dollar valuation all the way to $100 million. Uh, been doing this since 2008 in the transaction space. And uh, we love this space. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of business owners that need assistance. And it's the one of the biggest um, assets that they own. And we help them get some liquidity out of that asset. Speaking of these business owners, they're great at growth, growth, growth. But when it comes time to selling, uh, how many of the folks that you work with know where to start? The majority of them are, unfortunately, specialized in, in running their business and understand that their space, but it's not something they've done ever in their lifetime. They've never sold a business. So most of them, I would say 90% plus have no clue where to start, what the process is. And a lot of them end up leaving a lot of money on the table. What's the biggest concern that's on their mind then when they reach out to you? If they don't even know what they don't know, uh, what's most important to them when they reach out? Well, the most important thing is is the, is the valuation, what they're going to get, the terms and conditions of that sale, and the timeline. And if their business is even saleable. Uh, a lot of owners are also concerned about their employees, about the community they operate in, if the new business owner, if the new owner is going to keep the employees, uh, because a lot of them, for them, their business is their baby. One of the inspirations of this series is the fact that there's not a lot of information out there and you know, business owners don't really know that the services of an intermediary even exist. So uh, what are sort of the big myths or misconceptions that these business owners have um, in regards to selling their business? Have you heard any big myths or misconceptions? Well, a lot of business owners, because they haven't been exposed to this space, uh, sometimes we find that they have unrealistic expectations uh, from the valuation, what their business is going to sell for, um, expectations on timeline. Uh, they don't know the time it takes to actually sell the business. It can take anywhere from nine months to two years, depending on the business. Some businesses can be sold within, you know, a month or two, but most of them, you know, on average, it's nine months. And I've seen it can take a few years. Uh, the third thing is um, just, you know, even though valuation is one thing, but the terms and conditions are equally important. You know, how the financing is going to look like, how the deal is going to be structured. Are they going to get the money up front? Um, is it going to be some sort of earnout model? So there's many, many factors that we have to consider um, and it's, you know, it always starts by educating them and the tax implications of the sale. Many businesses, uh, business owners don't understand, you know, what they're going to net after the tax that they have to pay after the sale. A lot of these owners don't um, understand the services of an intermediary or even know that they exist. Can you kind of walk us through sort of a 10,000 foot view of how you help this business owner and take a lot of that burden off their shoulders? So I'll tell a little bit about us. There's many different models that business intermediaries operate in. Um, so the first thing is we we try to understand the business. Is it ready to even sell, right? We look at the transaction from a tax perspective. We look at from a customer concentration perspective. We look at uh, the different kinds of risk and liabilities. Um, can the deal be financed? We also figure out what the value of the business is. Many times when business owners are running a business, they're doing everything to minimize the tax they have to pay at the year end. So the first step we have to do is normalize and re cast the financials to reflect the true economic value of that business. From there, we'll look at, uh, you know, we'll look at different areas and what the market multiples are, along with the industry they're operating in, figure out the fair price for the business, what sort of terms and conditions uh, we can arrange from it. Um, so that's the first step. And then we, you know, we'll, mar we'll help prepare a package, market the business, and then negotiate a transaction and assist with due diligence and then help close the transaction. And sometimes we'll also get involved with post-sale post, um, post -sale integration. So we're coming out of a pandemic now, and a lot of times this has triggered folks to want to sell who've been sitting on the fence. But at the same time, they're worried, is this a good time to sell? What have you found in your area, in your market? Is this a good opportunity to sell a business today? 
we think it's a great time to sell multiple reasons. There's still buyers in the marketplace. Uh, we have uh, a lot of capital out there still looking uh, for good deals. So if you have a good, solid, profitable business, there is a lot of capital. Uh, you know, we're not in a recession environment. Uh, we're seeing the impact of inflation on the bottom line, uh, but there's still a lot of capital out there. Our biggest concern is you might have a good business, but if there isn't financing that can be arranged, then you're not going to have a good transaction. So, and, and buyers are looking for opportunities in good niches and good spaces and good industries. So it's, I think it's a great time to sell. I've heard a statistic that like over half to as many as as much as 80 percent of businesses that go on the market, maybe they're not working with an intermediary or they're not properly prepared, but they go they end up going unsold. What what do you find are the biggest breakdowns and what causes a business for the most part to to go unsold? It's true that 80 percent of the businesses that are listed don't sell. And there's many different factors from it, right? It could come down to price. It could be uh, the business owner didn't prepare properly. Um, so usually, you know, ideally they want to get started on selling the business as soon as possible, right? Sometimes even five, 10 years before they're looking to sell or three years, you know, clean up the books, um, uh, take care of the risk involved, uh, everything else that's involved. So there's many, many different things that they can do. We find that many times they just bring the business on the marketplace and the business is not ready to sell. And that hinders the transaction. And many times they haven't hired an expert service to help them assist. Selling a business is very complex. It's, you know, usually you have to dance with multiple buyers before you can get, have a deal. And it's, it's, it's one thing is having a letter of intent or an LOI, like, you know, but it's another thing getting the transaction closed clearing the due diligence. So um, like I said, 80% of businesses that are listed never sell. So it's, you know, and, and the, the other fact that it, when owners try to sell the business themselves, they take the pedal off running the business. Um, it's quite complex to sell a business. On average, it takes 600 to 800 hours to sell a business. So if they're focusing on selling the business, they usually take the pedal off running their business, which starts impacting their business. And usually the transactions fall apart under due diligence because it starts going, the business starts going down. Um, so we always tell owners, focus on running the business, run this, run, run it as smoothly as they can, and let us focus on selling the business. Great insights. Rubiel, what inspired you to get into this field and help business owners sell their businesses? How did you get started? Well, I, I went to school for computer science. And after that, I was, uh, you know, in 2000, late, uh, mid 2000s, uh, before the 2008 recession, I was involved in the high rise uh, condominium market. Uh, working with developers on high-rise developments. And we had some really good projects going in downtown core, which were completely sold out. We had started construction and then 2008 recession happened, you know, uh, and midway through we had to stop construction. Uh, my developer at that time ended up merging with a much bigger developer that controlled uh, both the, that had their own construction company, had their own lender and had their own financing. They could have just financed the construction. And these are pretty big projects we're talking about. We're talking about 100, 200 million dollar construction financing projects, right? So that was a great exposure where my developer was able to merge with a much larger developer um, and still deliver on the product that had been sold, uh, get it completed on time. Um, so, and I was like, oh, I enjoy this space. This is, you know, it's intellectually stimulating. There's a lot of need for it. We know a lot of baby boomers are going to be retiring. There's not a lot of people that specialize in that space. So that made me get into this space. And since then I've been, I've been loving this space. Before I ask you my last question, is there anything that I didn't think to ask you that you feel is important to share with business owners that are considering selling in today's market? In today's market, it's all about being prepared and having realistic ex expectation. So, you know, um, it's, it's reaching out to, to, to and build their team of experts that, that's going to help them in the transition process. Make sure they have a lawyer that understands business transactions, have an accountant that's transaction friendly, um, understand the tax liabilities that are going to come from the sale of the business so we can minimize the taxation and try to speak with uh, a business professional like myself who specializes in selling a business uh, so we can advise them and guide them uh, to net the highest possible price and go at them go go on the market at the right time great insights rubiel for folks listening business owners that are considering selling today and would love to speak with you and get your help how can they find you connect with you and learn more well, they can definitely check out our website. It's investive.com, I-N-V-E-S-T-I-V-E. -E. Um, they can also send me an email. It's rubeel, R-U-B-E-E-L, at investive, I-N-V-E-S-T-I-V-E.com. 
This has been terrific. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to stop my pleasure, Mark. here with my audience today. I wish you Thank continued you. success for you and for all of your clients. Thank you for having me. Have a great day. That was Rubil Khan. He's the founder and CEO of Investive. And this segment's been brought to you by booksgrowbusiness.com. It's the place where busy professionals get their books done and published to educate consumers, grow their businesses, and to leave a legacy. That's all for now. I'm Mark Imperial, and thanks for joining me.